Hello friends and welcome to Vacation Bible School with Churchland Baptist Church. My name is Lynn and today I'd like to share a story with you uh, about what it means to show compassion. The story comes from the book of Ruth and it's in the first chapter. If you'd like to get your Bibles and uh, read this, this chapter before I tell you the story or read it afterwards, that would be wonderful. But that's okay um, if you don't choose to do that. Sometimes when we are telling a story or listening to a story, it sounds sad and sometimes it feels hard to listen to. And in this story, there are two women named Ruth and Orpah, and they have a really tough choice to make. And um, they loved their families, they loved each other, but the story shows us what being open and present to people around us can look like. Now, once in a land called Judah, there was a man named Elimelech, and there was a famine in the land, and he was very worried about how he was going to feed his family. Um, just like your dad or mom would be very worried if there was a famine here, how they're going to feed you, and that's always important to parents. So he took his wife, Naomi, and their two sons, whose names were Malon and Chilion, to another country, and the name of this country was Moab. So they settled in Moab and made a good life among the people there. And soon their two sons married Moabite women, and their names were Orpah and Ruth. Now, sadly, Naomi's husband passed away, and then her two sons also passed away. So it was just Naomi and Orpah and Ruth that were left in the family. Now, Naomi missed the rest of her family, her sisters and her brothers and all of her cousins and all her relatives that still lived back in Judah and she just wanted to go home. So, she began the long journey back, and it was a custom in that land then that Ruth and Orpah would follow Naomi back and leave their home in Moab and go to Judah with her. Well, Ruth didn't want them to do this. She insisted that they stay in Moab, and she said, go back to your family May the Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with your husbands and with me. And peace be with you. Then Naomi hugged them goodbye and they all cried together. But Orpah and Ruth didn't want to leave Naomi. They tried to persuade Naomi to let them go with her. And Naomi said, no, I don't want to ruin your chance of marriage and having your own family. And if you stay with me, you will have nothing because I have nothing to give you. So Orpah made the hard decision to go back home to Moab. But Ruth clung to Naomi even more. And Naomi said to Ruth, don't stay with me. Go back with Orpah. But Ruth opened up to her and said, Don't make me leave you. Where you go, I will go. And where you make your home, I will make my home. And your people will be my people. And where you die and are buried, I will be buried there too. I will be your family. And when Naomi saw that she couldn't change Ruth's mind, her heart softened. She accepted Ruth, and they traveled back to Judah together. And then Ruth lovingly took care of Naomi, and she became like a daughter to her. Now, 
This is a beautiful story, and it continues in the book of Ruth, which is not a long book in the Bible. So hopefully you'll have time at some point to either read this or have your mom or your dad or sister or brother or somebody read it to you. Um, it's, it's a beautiful story the way it turns out with Ruth and Naomi and what happens to them in their life there. But sometimes when we are trying to make a decision, it's hard to know which way to go. And we need to be present in the experiences of those around us. We need to trust God's Spirit to show us the compassionate way. Now, there were different ways that compassion was shown in this story. Naomi showed compassion to Ruth and Orpah when she encouraged them to return to their families. She knew that that was something that would be important to them. And Ruth showed compassion to Naomi by going with her. Orpah showed compassion by supporting Ruth's decision and making a choice of her own that was the best for her, and that was to go back. So all of them offered compassion in their own way, showing us there are many ways to follow the spirits leading us to love and care about other people. Okay, well let's think about a few things from this story. Um, what did Naomi feel? What do you think she felt when she lost her husband and her sons? Can you imagine that feeling? And why did Naomi want to go back to her family in Judah? Do you remember why? And how did Orpah feel when she went back to her family and left Naomi and Ruth? And what did Naomi feel when Ruth kept saying, I'm going with you, you can't make me go back. Now, here are some things that you might want to look at yourself and ask yourself. How does compassion help us to be present? What do you think it means to be with people in their hurt? Have you ever been with somebody who's hurting? What, what do you do when you're with somebody who's hurting? How can you let someone be with you when you're hurting? These are all different ways that we show compassion and that people show compassion to us. So not only do we be, need to be willing to give compassion, but we need to be able to receive compassion too. That's very important. Well, that's the end of our story for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you'll stay with us, I'm going to be back with some craft ideas on how we can show compassion to others. Thank you and have a wonderful day.